It's been another long weekend in the UK, thanks to another public holiday, uh, the last until August. Uh, but we're finally getting started on the week. So it's Tuesday, the 30th of May. And um, let's have a quick look at what we've got for this uh, week on the start of this week. So we've got 18 orders on uh, Bricklink. And um, the highest one being 144 lots. Um, but then the buyer came back and placed another order with another 15 lots in here as well. And uh, they were both uh, very nice orders and uh, really appreciated. And um, on a Brick Owl, it's a bit of a different story. We've only got five orders on a Brick Owl. So really quiet on Brick Owl in comparison. Now, it's been a nice weekend in the UK. And even myself, you know, I've been out and enjoying the, the sunshine, doing things with the family, etc. Um, so it's understandable that um, people would have been taking advantage of the... Um, a holiday weekend and probably not doing a lot with Lego. So maybe that's understandable. So um, 23 orders in total there. And then uh, just a couple more on eBay as well. So uh, time to get picking. We've got a bit longer today because it's a Tuesday. Um, the post depot is open uh, till four today. So not quite the normal rush that I'd have on a Monday. Um, but time to get picking and get the orders ready. First batch of orders all uh, picked ready to uh, pack and get to the post office. So let's have a very uh, quick look at them. Um, we've got a new uh, Chewbacca uh, figure going out there complete with a crossbow. We've got the last of my um, Ireland J mini figures going out again eBay. And... Uh, uh, here, a couple of small parts going out. These are going off to the US. And um, more parts orders going out here. Uh, this one's going to France, I believe. And um, some of the minifig parts are selling. Um, you know, um, that's what I've been focusing on recently. So we're seeing a few of those continuing to go out. Uh, same over here, uh, some friends, uh, bits and pieces, uh, more minifigs again. This one's going to the US, a regular buyer and watcher of the uh, channel and uh, really appreciated. He's picked up a whole bunch of the uh, Chima minifigs that I got in recently. And uh, order going off to Poland, uh, which is the Electro Suit Batman. And then we've got a nice little order for lots of uh, minifig parts and a few more Chima minifigs as well. And a little cape from, a, I think that's from Emmett. And then more of a bulk order here. I think just uh, five or six lots there, but in uh, significant quantity. Uh, another international order going out to the Netherlands. And then a couple more. Uh, orders uh with some minifig parts in at least that one's all at minecraft and then two minifigures uh going out from the um classic batman uh set uh this is the classic joker in the pink suit which i think is a great figure and the uh penguin minifig as well so i'm gonna get those packed up now and then we'll get on with the rest of the orders so second batch of orders is uh, just about picked. Um, I'm rushing a little bit to get to the post office. So I'm going to get uh, the first four of these uh, packed up. And um, the largest one, which I'll come on into a second, uh, might just have to wait a, a little bit. And I'll get it off a little later or tomorrow, uh, possibly. Um, basically, uh, these are parts orders. I've got a couple of minifigs going out there. We've got the soccer player and uh, a small order with bits and pieces of uh, friends parts, etc. Uh, this order that I'm currently picking uh, now, I'm actually just looking for, for two parts that um, I need to locate. And um, it's actually two orders in one. So 
Um, this is one of the orders, um, which is the uh, Basilisk and a couple of Star Wars figures and a few other um, uh, pieces of uh, minifig gear, etc. So that's one of the orders uh, that will be going uh, out together. Um, the other order was about 133 lots. Um, lots of parts, lots of minifig parts. So we've got uh, lots of uh, particularly um, castle-y type stuff and pirates uh, going out here. These are new ones um, in this particular draw and uh, various pirate minifigures going out as well and these were really good uh value orders um there are about i want to say you know getting on for 200 pounds between the two orders uh so really nice orders a uh, regular customer bought from me several times a uh, really good customer and i uh, really appreciate their business they have told me not to panic about getting these rushed out i was trying to make it today but i may not so we'll see um but they said you know not not to worry if i couldn't so uh that's why i'm gonna stop for now uh look for those other couple of parts in a minute and get these packed up ready for the post office so we finished all today's post and up next is this parcel that i received um i had a customer reach out to me um, same customer as, as about a couple of weeks ago, I'd got a few uh, things off and they reached out to me again, said they'd got some more uh, minifigs and other bits and pieces to sell and was I interested and um, I, uh, I was, we managed to strike a deal and um, he sent me this out. So I haven't actually seen uh, what's in here yet. I mean, obviously I've seen the pictures. Um, so. A nice uh, bag of minifigs there, some nice stuff, all kinds of stuff, mostly uh, collectible minifigs, etc. Uh, there is some foil packs in there as well, um, which will be uh, good. And then on top of that, um, we have some base plates that he is selling, um, both new and used and had a look and I made it an offer on those as well and uh, so those are included so um, really pleased with that um, I've been looking for uh, mini figs to add to the store anyway um, I always feel I'm a little bit light on mini figs in particular so these are going to come in really handy and I'm going to get sorted and get these added to the store now I think well, I'm currently working through the minifigs that I'd uh, picked up in the package that arrived over the weekend. Uh, still quite a lot to add and uh, some really nice uh, minifigs as well. Um, if not uh, in front of me, then uh, certainly in the ones that I've been through um, just behind. I mean, this one here is, um, you know, quite a... Uh, a nice find um i think i saw that that was selling for about i don't know 15 quid or something like that which is crazy and i hadn't particularly spotted that one when i, I said that i would uh, buy uh the figures i just got a ton of screenshots and i was happy um you know with the price negotiated etc um you know we've got uh, hot dog man there and all sorts of series i think we've got um the complete um batman series not that a lot of those uh go for particularly uh good money but there's just a ton of stuff here and it's really good to build back up on that collectible minifigs because they are a real um staple of um sales you know they sell very regularly um without too much uh real effort and um the hope is always that when someone picks uh one or two of them up that they're also picking other things up from the store as well so really happy uh with this purchase and really uh, happy to uh, be building the minifigs back up a little bit tuesday the 31st of may and uh, just having a quick look at what we've got for this morning to uh, get picking and there are four orders on a brick link and the highest one being 86 lots 142 lots total for the four orders uh, so not a, a huge amount um, on 
uh, Brick Owl, we've got um, two orders as well. Um, easy to, to pick those. One of them is a single item, probably a minifigure. Um, and then on eBay, we've got a couple on eBay to pick as well. So um, I've just printed out the pick sheets for those, so we'll get uh, those picked uh, shortly. Um, this is uh, what I ended up with uh, last night after um, checking, uh, bagging and adding all of these to a brick store file. Um, there's well over uh, 100 minifigs here of all kinds of things. Um, mostly um, collectible uh, minifigs, as I uh, think I said on a video yesterday. There's a bit of Harry Potter stuff. And there's a few uh, video uh, figs as well. Um, there was also a few poly bags, or uh, foil packs rather. A couple of Star Wars things. And some superhero stuff. Flash, Robin, uh, Batman, etc. So those are all uh, good as well. Um, I'm going to leave these uh, for now before I put them away. I'm going to do the picking of the orders next. And uh, then we'll show you what we've got and then I'll get this slot put away. So let's have a look at this morning's orders. Um, we've got a couple on eBay this morning. We've got a James Bond minifigure going out. And then we have got a Mission Impossible Dimension set. So this is one of the Dimension sets that I spent a little bit of time last week uh, rebuilding and listing on eBay. So just shows that that sort of effort um, pairs off and then um, this uh, is a nice little order of uh, mix of minifig parts and uh, minifigs and um, what's interesting about this one is this base plate is um, one of the plates that came from the package I opened yesterday and of course has already sold so um, nice to see those moving through quickly as well. And then um, a nice order here. This is about 80 something lots actually. So it probably doesn't um, look that much. There's lots of individual um, little um, sort of minifig type parts or tiles or um, we've got some uh, pink frogs there um, and a couple of minifigs as well. Um, so those those types of orders, even though the high lot counts, I always quite you know quite happy to pick them. <laughs> you know the the easy, they're interesting. Um, whereas sometimes you know high lot counts, you know can can be a pain. Um, a few more um, orders here. We've got a little uh, Bita uh, minifig going out, which is an Injago uh, minifig, and another order there for some one by tiles etc so uh, we're going to get these um, packed uh, and ready to go to the post office and then I'm going to get the minifigures put away I still haven't listed them yet so although these are on um, a brick store they're in a file they're ready to upload I just need to price them and then uh, get them uploaded I do have another brick store file on the go as well with parts, so I probably need to just sit down for an hour and um, go through those, get them priced and uh, get them uploaded and ready to go before I start adding uh, even more parts to the store. I just picked up another little order and it's for another of the base plates that uh, I got a couple of days ago. And uh, someone did reach out to me uh, the other day and asked how I package my base plates and I simply put them between a couple of bits of strong card and a little hard to, to do here but um, so I just sandwich them and uh, they end up quite nice and uh, and stiff you don't need to send them in a big box um, they're just just pretty pointless using all of that space and, and volume um, just make sure that the cardboard's strong and, um, you know, double ply at least like this, nothing uh, too thin. Uh, maybe even put, um, you know, an extra uh, piece uh, on either side. Um, but just, 
you know, as long as you're um, making them, them rigid so they're not going to bend, you're going to be fine. So after uh, completing all of the minifigs and the minifig upload, I am still left with a bunch of random stuff on uh, my desk, Got more over here. And uh, I'm probably, some of these, I think this one is gonna go to eBay. Uh, this one I'm gonna see uh, if, because uh, I do have the cat as well that goes with that. I'm gonna see if I can find uh, a broom to make that up into a set. And um, same with uh, this guy, I'll probably uh, make that into a, a set as well. The rest of these, I think I'm going to break down uh, to parts or I'm going to put them aside uh, waiting for parts. So for instance, um, she's got no cape, um, he, uh, she has no skates. Um, but I'm not sure that I can be bothered for those kind of items, um, you know, trying to wait until I get them and, um, and, you know, I might as well just list the parts, I think is, is kind of what I'm saying. So I'm going to, um, get these all added to a brick store file, um, including this one. I mean, I thought this was a minifigure and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I think it turns out that this is the... Uh, at least the body is from a, a builder minifig. Um, so the, the actual minifigure isn't actually listed. So they're going to go as parts, etc. So anyway, um, I just want to get my desk cleared. So I'm going to clean up a lot of this um, mess that I've got on my desk and get it added to a, a brick store file now. Let's take a look at uh, Thursday's orders. Uh, obviously, it's uh, the start of the month, it's uh, 1st of June, and uh, we start with a clean slate in terms of uh, sales income, etc. So, it's uh, always nice to get off to a reasonable start. Um, a couple of um, uh, different lots of round plates going out. Uh, order here from a, a regular customer who's buying various um, uh, parts, plates, tiles, and also a whole bunch of the minifigures that I've just added recently, which is nice. Uh, another uh, minifig going out there, that's a, a Wonder Woman, and uh, then a few uh, white uh, bricks and some Friends parts going out. And here we've got all uh, basic bricks, mostly uh, one by fours, one by sixes, one by eights, etc. in uh, uh, a number of colours and uh, then we've got some more um, minifig parts going out and then a couple uh, more orders uh, one of them with uh, 10 torsos the other with a few um, minifig parts scattered in amongst uh, some other things there as well now um, I need to get them packed away and ready for the post office and then I'm probably going to continue with minifigs. I'm actually desperate to get some more basic um, parts into the store. Um, so I could do uh, some of that, but I'm just so, <laughs> you know, desperate um, to get this lot um, sorted out. Some of the tubs are relatively empty and can be condensed. And I know I keep talking about these, but I keep adding things to them so they don't actually seem to, to um, disappear too much. Um, but we'll keep working at them and um, they are bringing um, benefits and the fruits of labor with all of the orders uh, coming in for various minifig parts and things. So it is um, from a financial perspective worth pursuing these as well. But I am conscious that I am uh, low or missing a lot of common sort of basic uh, parts in the store at the moment as well that I really need to get um sorted out before too long at all um got a few things i want to get listed on ebay as well uh mostly uh just a few sort of uh mini figs and bits and pieces and things things like uh this guy where there's no um list uh, uh listing on ebay for him and then we've got a couple of things here uh, a sandman and a vulture that i think will be better on ebay we've got another dimension set so a few things sat on my desk uh waiting to 
be uh, prepped. And um, as always, lots and lots uh, to do. Um, just a question of deciding the focus. I'm just going through some more uh, Lego assemblies and getting them uh, prepped and ready for uploading. Um, but what I'm probably going to do when I go through this and I go through this um, bag of plain uh, leg assemblies is I'm probably going to keep some uh, for myself um, just to keep them as a backup for when you're building figures. I think it's worthwhile having a number of, um, you know, spare parts um, uh, up your sleeve ready to complete figures and particularly in this kind of case the short uh, legs in certain colors um you know are a little um more scarce to come across i suppose um so uh, that's what i do anyway it just makes it easier to rebuild figures uh, as and when they come in now um at the same time i don't do a lot of uh, rebuilding so i'm not going to keep tons of these um probably just a couple of, of each colour and you know I might as well be maximising um, the money that I can get from the spares you know the spares are selling really really well and uh, if I need to um, you know get a hold of something I'd, I'll just have to buy it in to complete a figure. Friday 2nd of June and uh, we've got four orders on Bricklink um, all low lot counts but uh, 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 reasonable value uh, especially in one of those orders there and then on Brickal we've got another uh, four orders one of those going off to uh, Canada and again uh, easy picking with low lot counts there's nothing on eBay um, and I have already picked the orders so let's have a look on um, what the orders actually consisted of um, basic sort of parts orders there a uh, nice minifig order uh here going out we've got a poly bag as well for uh, uh captain marvel and uh, nick fury this is a, a robot warrior and a few other collectible uh, minifigs and the nice thing here is uh these all came from the minifig uh haul that i got uh, earlier in the week um, order going out here to uh, regular customer uh, Dan, who's uh, uh, you know really good customer and is uh, placing orders uh, really regularly. And although this doesn't look an enormous amount, um, these are fairly expensive. Uh, so that was a uh, probably the highest value order of the day, believe it or not. Um, an order going out to Brick This, who I mention uh, often buys regularly for his uh, various commissions that he builds. Uh, we've got a Ninjago figure going out there. Some parts uh, going out along with some uh, various droid uh, parts. Uh, this is the order that's going off to Canada, which is a, a few uh, minifigs. Um, we've got uh, this... Um, a uh, zombie uh, businessman going out, but that's the uh, series uh, one, I think. Um, if that's uh, if I'm remembering correctly, and then we've got this um, uh, tournament night uh, going out, which is a fairly expensive figure at nineteen pounds. And then we've just got a, a small order for some of these uh, rubber bands uh, from Technic. Now, funnily enough, I was, um, I think, too short on um, uh, this uh, um, sand blue um, slope here. And I had a look uh, to see if I had any anywhere else. And it happens that there were two in uh, set number uh seven five two six six now this is a set um i keep a number of sets that are already opened um that i've pulled something out of maybe a minifig or something like that in the past and um and i kind of use them almost as uh spares and there were two in here which was great because it meant i could fulfill dan's order without any issue um, but what I did find in here, which is a bit of a pleasant surprise, is I've got minifigs in here that I haven't actually listed. I've checked my Bricklink uh, store and these aren't listed anywhere. So I'm going to get those um, added to the store in a second. 
Uh, now I'll keep uh, adding to my uh, brick store file. So still working away on uh, brick store. Uh, got a file here that I'm working on and I'm, you know, just going to keep adding to this today and we'll get this uh, uploaded probably before the end of the day to hit the uh, weekend uh, business. Um, started adding um, leg assemblies, which I think I touched on uh, yesterday. And I'll continue to keep adding uh, to that uh, throughout the day. I'm continuing with the minifig parts and I get that uh, this might uh, be reducing the amount of filming that I'm doing and that it's possibly uh, a bit more boring for you guys uh, watching because I'm not sorting through um, multiple bulk tubs etc etc um, but um, at the moment uh, the focus is still on reducing uh, this mountain uh, behind me now there's not much left in uh, this tub um, I've got a few uh, white torsos to go in there I've got uh, this last pile of, of black torsos for now uh, at least um, to be sorting through as well um, now I've already um, emptied out some some plastic tubs and I've also uh, drastically reduced the headgear as well so they could probably be bagged and combined with a, another tub and that would help to to reduce as well um now the alter alternative that i did consider uh, you can see there's just tubs and tubs here was to get back to sorting through this uh bulk tub which is still half full but i figured that you know, that's going to take hours uh, to do anyway. So I uh, didn't uh, want to uh, go through that. Plus, I'm also uh, doing some research at the moment uh, in um, uh, some things I want to buy for uh, uh, a different purpose. And so it's quite helpful to be sat here and uh, be going through multiple uh, YouTube videos, reviewing uh, those items, etc., um so it's uh, just a case of plodding on um we have had another order or two um which were small ones so i've just added them uh to the pile uh didn't get them on on video and um i'm just you know head down focused on clearing through as much of this stuff as i can uh, not finding anything uh super useful just come across uh this torso which is the uh uh, Darth Vader sort of battle damaged um, torso only worth a, a couple of pounds uh, the figure itself's worth about 15 or 16 um, we'll see what else we can find in amongst here um, but uh, not expecting to find anything uh, super rare or anything like that it's just a case of getting through them so I'll just about to upload the uh, latest file that I've been working on um, only 349 items in 214 lots uh, for £175. It is slow going, this stuff. Um, when you add in individual parts, you've got to put them away, etc. Um, and um, yeah, it just, you know, it just takes time. Um, I, I think um, what I'm going to do is is next week I'm going to shift focus and um, get back to basic parts and going through some of the used tubs and uh, trying to move uh, some of that stuff. Um, I'm conscious that I've neglected that for a, a little while now, focusing on the minifig parts. And while the minifig parts are are good um are good sellers and uh, good value um it's important to keep uh you know a, a good blend of uh, of parts in the store and um i've been a little bit lazy if i'm honest over the last uh, couple of weeks and uh, i really need uh, to get back into the swing of things and um get some more stuff uploaded mm -hmm. 